Hi, and welcome to Cubase 3. Before we start, I want to make a few general comments about your system requirements and working with Cubase. An 800 megahertz processor will definitely work, but a 3 gigahertz processor really gives you a helpful amount of additional power. One gigabyte of RAM will give you significantly more responsiveness than 512 megabytes. Using two monitors is also recommended. Visually, a dual monitor setup is much more comfortable for you to work on. If you use a single hard drive, it's a good idea to split it into two partitions, one for your operating system and the other you'd use for recording. But it's always preferable to use a second hard drive. Remember, Cubase can use as much as 80 megabytes of disk space per one minute of recording time. If you multiply this by the number of tracks you can play at the same time, well, you see that the transfer rate of your hard drive is very, very important. It's also a good idea to defragment your hard drive from time to time. This is going to help your computer's overall performance. And finally, it's a good idea to back up your project regularly on an external hard drive. Next, let's talk about audio hardware. Cubase will run with a 16-bit stereo sound card, which supports at least a 44.1 kHz sampling rate. 